So this is going to be a first-hand experience of what it was like to be on the road with Stomp and Tom. So there you are. Stomp and Tom is our first show of the season. Wow. Okay. Like, this is perfect timing, Jamie. Mel, come on. Come on. Uh, the season will start. Our subscription season will start with a fantastic, wonderful, heartfelt comedy that is written by somebody who just walked in the door. You just got here from St. Catharines, right? I did. Awesome. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful comedy. Uh, uh, the first time I read this play, I was absolutely blown away with it. I knew that you were going to love it because it just touches, it touches my heart. In fact, I think it's a little bit too close to home a little bit sometimes. Um, Sharon, let it go. Play is called... The play is called The View From Here, and it is written by Jamie Williams, who just walked in the door. It's also, we're thrilled because they've both been on our stage before, it will star Jamie and his significantly better half, Mel Jansen, who's going to be back on our stage again. So, um, at, uh, in December, we're going to do something a little kind of different. We've talked about this for a long time, about doing something at Christmas time that will be a very different kind of show. Um, it's a theatrical format that is uh, something that's going to be hugely entertaining on a kind joy on a couple of different levels. You want to drop it, Sharon? We are going to be doing the world premiere of a pantomime. Now, pantomime is a very traditional theatrical form which really relies on you to come and sing along, to boo the villain, to cheer the hero. I want to practice. Where's, um, where, Deputy... Where's Deputy Mayor Taylor? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, at, well, we're coming to that part in just a second. You, yeah, I just wanted to know you were there, Todd. That's great. It is written by Debbie Collins, who has been on our stage a million times. And apparently she's going to drag my tired old career along for the adventure as well. So Debbie and I are co-writing a panto. It's going to be lots of fun. It's, again, as I say, it's a sing-along. There's very important components, though, and that's you in this kind of a show, is that you need to be able to participate. You need to be able, as I say, to boo the villain and to cheer the hero. And it, there's two versions of the play. Ah. There's the naughty version of the play, and there is the nice version of the play. Now, when I say that, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like... Uh, political humor, maybe, and, and stuff like that. If, um, if uh, Deputy Mayor Taylor, perhaps at the council meeting one day, puts his foot in his mouth about something, that will, in fact, show up in the show the next day. <laughs> it allows us that kind of opportunity. But again, as I say, it really depends on you. That whole booing component. Like, here's what I want you to do. On the count of three, I want everyone in the room to boo as loud as you can Todd Taylor, okay? Aww. And... <laughs> boo! Now, but more importantly, now I want everyone in the room to cheer for Todd Taylor. Hey! <laughs> There's a disgruntled vote right there. <laughs> so that's what the show's all about. It's going to depend on you. It's going to be depend on you coming with an open heart and wanting to have a whole lot of fun. And that's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to do it. It's just sing along. Hi, Kay. Good to see you. It's a sing-along. It's going to be music that you know. Debbie's got a... An, and Deb might... Are you going to be in it, Deb? Yeah. Okay, Debbie's going to be in it, too. Okay? So that's what's going to be happening at that time. World premiere, brand new show. Then we get into the next time slot in uh, sort of January or February, I think. February. February. Thanks, Samantha. <laughs> so <clears throat> the playwright tells me that this show is about love, gossip and sex behind the compost pile. <laughs> it is, in fact, Norm Foster at his very funniest. <laughs> so you may recall, quite a number of years ago, Norm Foster and I were on this stage together, dragging our tired souls around for our sins, um, in a play called Jonas and Barry in the Home. This is a very, it's a different play. It's a completely different set of circumstances, but 
in this case, instead of watching two tired old farts like Norm and I, it's incredibly talented, funny, wonderful women, because that's just the way you are, far more engaging than what it would be with men. And it's going to star Debbie Collins. <laughs> The last show that we just did was a huge departure for um, a playwright that we all hold very dear in our hearts. The Bluff, I hope you all enjoyed it. It was great, yes, thank, give it up for The Bluff. It's a wonderful show. We've done many, many plays by Kristen De Silva. We're thrilled to call her a friend. It's always an honor and a privilege to do a new work, to be able to present to you for the very first time a play that has never seen the light of day before. And that's kind of apropos because this play is called Let Her Go. Let Her Go. Oh. By the light of a story. Where's Kristen? Kristen, where are you? Right here. Right here. Kristen is several, ladies and gentlemen. And this brand new play from Kristen is one of the most wonderfully romantic, genuinely touching, fun, uh, who doesn't want a little romance in their life? Except for Ken. That's not true, Marth, don't you worry. Uh, and the last show of our season is, uh, again, is a world premiere piece. It's something that we've been developing for a while now and are really excited to be able to bring it to you. Um, it's written and created by two performers that you have seen on this stage before. Cassell Miles joined us for Josiah, and Leslie McCurdy joined us for, for things that my or things my four sisters saw. Yes. And yeah, and we are creating a new show called The Dark Town Strutters Ball. The Dark Town Strutters Ball. The Dark Town Strutters Ball was the first song the first jazz and pop song that was ever recorded in 1917. It was written by an Afro-Canadian named Shelton Brook. And so this show is gonna take us down, this, down the road of music halls, vaudeville, and all of that great, incredible music that has influenced even artists today. So, there we are. There's your 30th playbill. So, All that being said, as of about a minute and a half from now, five and three play subscriptions are immediately on sale. <laughs> so now we get to go public. Now we get to share this with, uh, we wanted to share it with you first. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And as always, um, uh, we are really thrilled here tonight because our playwright of the new Canadian Curling Club is standing right there, head and shoulders above everyone else, Mark Crawford. <laughs> Who, who was actually able to get the night away from Hogwarts to come and join us this evening. Mark is performing in Harry Potter downtown. So was, was able to, he's not playing Harry Potter, but he, you know, was able to take the night off and join us. So Mark, thank you for that. You. One other thing that I really, that I want to share with you because it really speaks to, I think, who that and what this company is. And it's only able to happen because of you. This community is extremely unique, I think. There is, I, I've said, I'm, I guess I think I'm saying it on Facebook right now. There is no community in the country, none in the country, I believe, that is as art-centric, arts-focused, supportive of the arts, and all that that entails. The stories that we tell on this stage, and those stories are changing, and we want to be a part of that. And one of the most important stories that we have told lately in our history was probably about five years ago. It's a theater for young audiences show called Boys, Girls, and Other Mythological Creatures. We took it into local elementary schools and it helped to facilitate conversations that change lives and are changing lives and are conversations that are going on with young people today. We're gonna to be taking it into the schools. You won't have a chance to see it. It's something that we're gonna take into every elementary school within an hour to 90 minutes of, this, of where we're standing right now and it is going to affect profound and lasting change in the youth of this community. 
and that is only possible because of your continued support, and I don't just mean with money, I mean in your hearts and souls, that what we are trying to do here matters, and that it's important, and that it makes this a better place. And, I really, want to thank, I really want to thank you, Mark, because what we're all about to experience is magnificent. It's wonderful. It's such, an, uh, such a, it, well, I leave it to you, okay? <laughs> but thank you for helping to move this company forward and the messaging that we're trying to do and what we think is important and that we are able to share that and with Kristen and Jamie, all the other playwrights that we work with. So please, please, please give it up for people who sit in dark rooms and write amazing stories. <laughs> That having been said, I also want to thank all of the creative artists, actors, designers, freelance people who come and work with us, our board, our volunteers, our sponsors, our donors, all of them who make this possible. But I also tonight, with all of you here, I want to give a special shout out to an amazing group of people who have made this night possible, but they've made it possible over the last three years because they have courage and they have heart and they have held the course and they have held the faith and that is the people that are standing up here around you. The, the administrative staff and production team inspire me every day. They give me heart when mine fails a little bit. They give me courage when mine falters. And um, they inspire me all the time. And I thank each and every one of you for making all of this possible. So, all that having been said, come on upstairs because we have one amazing show for you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's always one. There's always one I forget. What you are about to experience tonight is really the creative vision of one amazing artist. Our director of this show, Jane Spence, standing right there. Woo! Okay. Shall we go upstairs? Let's go upstairs, everybody. Enjoy the show. Well done. Well done. Glad you got here.